Welcome to BBC School Report Day here at Aldersley High School. My name is Hannah. I'm Tessa. I'm Olivia. I'm Olivia. Here are our headlines for today. We have reports on how income households and energy caps, the 10th anniversary of BBC School Report Day and the NHS strikes. Today's top story is that millions of low income households could see power bills cut after a report into the UK's energy sector. If this happens, it could possibly lower bills by £300 million in total, which is about £90 per household. As well as that, the CMA, which stands for Competition Markets Authority, have also proposed and have also proposed suppliers offer just four tariffs. Tariffs are the different price ranges that people are charged for their energy. Currently, there are lots of different tariffs, meaning we all pay different rates. And because of this special occasion, we are here today to talk about the 10th anniversary of BBC School Report Day, over 30,000 schools are participating. In this event, in BBC School Report Day, children are allowed to experience how it feels to be a real reporter. As a BBC reporter, we have to find a good story to write about it and present it to you. More than 1,000 schools made their own news for a real audience last year across the UK, took part in this diversity award winning project. The third headline is about the NHS strikes. Junior doctors have gone on strike which is causing major problems with the NHS. The hospitals are expected to overcrowd today and over 5,000 operations have been cancelled. Catherine Murphy, part of the Patients Association, thinks that there is a growing concern about the strikes. Junior doctors are striking, up, are striking because, contract, because of a contract trial that has recently begun. The hospitals worry that there will be a struggle to treat all the patients. In other news, there's been a referendum about whether to keep shops open, lo open longer on Sundays in England and Wales. More than 25 Tory MPs have rebelled, one saying the shake-up would chip away at Sunday special status. There have been concerns over Sunday trading as online shops have, have an advantage over high street ones. This means online shops have a better chance at gaining money than the shops on the high street. Most high street stores have online stores, so this means that local stores are missing out. David Cameron has announced a referendum on whether England will leave the EU where have been some advantages and disadvantages and the future of England has been left to the public where they will vote. Voting will start on the 23rd of June. If you are registered to vote, you will be sent a card telling, telling where the voting station will be placed in your area. We have flood warnings today from the Environment Agency, the, the Scottish Environment Protection Agency and the National Re Resources Wales. Wales has had very heavy rain and bad storms that have caused flood. There have been evacu evacuations of homes, buildings and public places, but more on that later. Now to Brand Nathan and Brandon with the sports. Hello and welcome to the sports news. Today we will be discussing three different sports stories. I'm Nathan and I'm joined with... Brandon. Brandon will now read the first news story. I'll be starting off with a rugby player named Manu Talaji. Manu Talaji will make his first England appearance in almost two years. People can't wait for the Six Nations showdown with Wales at Twickenham. Sam Kingston, Leicester powerhouse, is one of the four changes that Eddie Jones has made to his replacement bench and is expected to be given his chance in the second half. As Warren Gatland's men return to the scene of their famous World Cup Paul Triumph, Jones has named an unchanged starting liner to the one that beat Ireland and Twiggy number four now ago. Manu is being back to make a big impact off the bench while the eagerly anticipated Binocular and Falato clash is making headlines. Now I'll pass on to Nathan for the second story. At the beginning of the season, you could get odds of £5,000 to one for Leicester to win the Barclays Premier League. But with nine games to go, the Foxes are on course to do what many thought impossible, and dozens of punters could claim that the biggest price single winner in sporting history. What, what can 60p buy you? A chocolate bar, not in this BBC office. A pint of milk or a second-hand stamp, perhaps. But with for, for self-employed DJ Nathaniel Wessel, a 60p investment could net him £3,000. The 20 year old had pennies left over in his William Hill account and thought, why not Leicester? He quoted, I've never followed Leicester, I'm a Brighton fan. I considered putting some money on, on them, but with us to 16 to 1, it didn't really seem worth it. I, 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 was, I, I wasn't planning on putting 60p on anything, I just thought, let's back an outsider for a laugh. 
Finally, Brandon. I'll pass on to Brandon for the final story. Last night, Chelsea were knocked out of the Champions League by Paris Saint-Germain. It was 2-1 to one on aggregate after the first two matches and in the second leg, Chelsea got off to a bad start going 1-0 to nil down, making it 3-1. to one. Although Chelsea did pull one goal back, making it 3-1. to one. Chelsea then stood a chance of making the score equal, although later on during the match, Zlatan Ibrahimovic scored another for PSG to make it 2-1 to one and 4-2 to two in aggregate. The match finished 4 to 2 on aggregate, which meant Chelsea are now out of the Champions League. This has been Sports News, thanks for watching. It is now over to Kai Shan for the weather. Good afternoon, today in Wolverhampton the weather is very cloudy. It sits Celsius, it feels like very Celsius. At 1 o'clock it's going to be cloudy and the temperature is going to be 6 Celsius. Tomorrow it's going to be windy with a little bit of sunshine. Throughout today it's going to be cloudy and the maximum is 7 Celsius. Here at Aldersley we are fairly are fairly overcast weather as you can see from our picture we're hoping for we're hoping that the sunshine will fight throughout the clouds. Have a nice day and now back to the studio. This is the end of our BBC Sport Report Day Bulletin. Thank you for watching and good night.